The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps said it used ballistic missiles to destroy an Israeli spy site in Iraq's semi-autonomous Kurdistan region, according to state media, amid escalating tensions in the Middle East. The Revolutionary Guard Corps said through its media arm early Tuesday local time that the espionage headquarters of Israel's Mossad intelligence agency had been used to plan terrorist acts against Iran claims Kurdish officials denied. The Israeli Prime Minister's press office did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The Revolutionary Guard said that the attack targeted several sites of Iranian opposition groups. Unfortunately, they always use baseless excuses to attack Erbil, the Kurdish Regional Security Council said in a statement adding that the regional capital of Iraqi Kurdistan is a stable region and has never been a threat to any party. This is a blatant violation of the sovereignty of the Kurdistan region and Iraq, and the federal government and the international community must not remain silent regarding this crime, the council said. Four people were killed and six wounded in the attack, the council said. The Kurdistan Regional Parliament's deputy speaker, Heman Harami, identified the dead as an Iraqi businessman and his family. Condemning the attack, Masroor Barzani, Kurdistan's Prime Minister, said on social media that he will work with international allies over the next few days, to stop these brutal attacks. The attack took place in a residential area near the U.S. consulate, Reuters reported. The Iranian missile volley follows a dramatic escalation in recent weeks in which the United States carried out airstrikes on Iraqi soil targeting Iranian-backed militias linked to attacks on U.S. forces. The United States also struck Iran-aligned Houthi militants in Yemen, which the White House said was in retaliation for Houthi attacks against commercial shipping in the Red Sea. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdallahan had warned the United States and its allies Monday against targeting Yemen. Also on Tuesday, the Revolutionary Guard Corps said it launched missiles against Islamic State militants in Syria, Iranian state media reported. That strike comes after a bomb attack in the Iranian city of Kerman, which the Islamic State claimed responsibility for, killed 95 people this month. No U.S. personnel or facilities were targeted or damaged in Iraq or Syria, White House National Security Council spokeswoman Adrian Watson said. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said the United States strongly condemns Iran's attacks in Erbil today and offers condolences to the families of those who were killed. We oppose Iran's reckless missile strikes, which undermine Iraq's stability, Miller said in a statement. Tensions in the Middle East have grown since Hamas's attack on Israel in October, with Iran's network of allied militias demonstrating the country's proxy strength.